Welcome Pisces. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Lover's Oracle, Mystical Wisdom and the Lightseer's Tarot. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a love reading but just apply it to any relationships in your life. Okay, how you see fit. So three cards for Pisces please. One, two more cards for Pisces, please. Oh, dang. Oh, there's two there, I think. Okay, let me go and get them. It was only one. Okay, so one more card for Pisces. There it is. Okay, Pisces. Let's have a look at this card here. Oh. Only time will tell. Interesting, that's all it says. A very brief message with that card there. But she looks like she's crying. Hmm. Okay. Next card is My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Okay, okay, interesting. What's this last card? Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay, intriguing, Pisces, very intriguing. Let's look further into this. Only time will tell. Two cards for Pisces, please, for this card here. So I wonder if some of you are yearning or longing for somebody. Could it have even been a past, someone who's passed? Maybe. One more card for Only Time Will Tell for Pisces, please. I don't like how that came out. Let me put that one back and see if it comes out again. I don't know what it is yet. One more card for Pisces, please. I don't know. It's like, is it going to come? No. One more card. But only time will tell. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Opportunity knocks. Go for it. Only time will tell. Ah, okay. So maybe it's not even to do with a relationship. Could be to do with career. Could be an opportunity in anything in your life, right? Any opportunity. Let's have a look. Opportunity knocks. Two cards for this. See, I feel like this. Oh, wow. They're just flying all over the shop today. I, I What I want to say before I pick those up is I feel like there's something that you've been trying to manifest or you've been working on and dreaming of. And I just wonder if it's actually coming to um, fruition here. I wonder if it's manifesting. And coming real. Is this a dream that you've always had that's finally actually becoming real for you? Let me get these cards. Okay, so there's actually three of them here. So we've got, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, see there's something that you've been, I feel like, definitely pouring your energy into. Okay. Um, I kind of feel as though here Pisces that there's sort of this um, being this doubt or oh, I don't know if doubt is the right word more something that you've been carrying around has been blocking whatever it is coming towards you okay um, and I'm just wondering if it's a need for you to put down this blockage, whatever that may be. Um, it's a burden of some sort, and um, it's kind of like, I just wonder, see this a picture here is playing on my mind, so I wonder if this burden is something that you've been carrying around in your heart, this heavy thing that potentially hasn't been worked through yet, um, that maybe even you've buried away because it's too big to face. 
um, and you've, you've sort of suppressed it and you've put it down so far that it's stopping you from moving forward and you keep kind of coming up against, it's not a brick wall, but it's this, um, this makeshift fence, this makeshift barrier um, that it's kind of like you've put there subconsciously to protect yourself, but now you want to go forward, you're like, why can't I? What's happening? Why? Why can't I end this cycle and go into this new beginning here, into, you know, this opportunity that is knocking for me, right? And so um, the burden that you carry is yours, and it's yours to dismantle. Okay, Pisces, because it's, you know, here's the other thing, though, is that you could easily climb over those, but it needs to be dismantled because these here, look at how tall this one is, right? These are buried down deep, real deep. So in that regard, they need to be plucked out. Some of them are going to be easier than others. But they need to be pulled out, okay? We've next card we have here is Angel of Miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. Yeah, yeah, open your heart. Scary, I know. But open it anyway, okay? Maybe this is what this protection here is. But it's, it's... Yeah, I think you've buried some really deep deep hurt whether that's heartache or not I'm not well it may be for some of you but for others of you there's something else but this is about you kind of rebirthing yourself in a sense right so two cards for angels and miracles please and I would say call on the angels to help you with this healing you know oh, we're all over the floor today aren't we okay so yeah, see, this is the thing here, right? You're focusing on what it is that you don't have, okay, rather than seeing the blessings that are there for the taking for you, okay, because you're carrying around, look, we've got the Nine of Wands and then we've got the Ten of Wands. You're carrying this around and you're choosing to do so. You could put down, you could sort through this luggage, you could unpack those bags and see what it is that you need to take with you on the journey, okay, because remember, on the beginning of the journey, the fool has... A little knapsack he only takes what he needs he doesn't carry all this baggage you've got so much baggage here that you actually need a buffalo to carry it whereas if you sift through it and put it all down you could use the buffalo to carry you so the journey isn't so much of a of a burden in a sense or it's not so tiring right so this is something that is needed to be carefully considered and very important for you to do here Pisces for you to move forward because without it, you're never going to step over this. You're always going to be like, it's always going to be tripping you up. Always. And once you do it, you'll be going, why did I not do that before? Okay, so, beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Two cards for my beloved. This could even be a parent, a grandparent, a sibling, a lover, a child that hurt your heart so badly with them not being in your life for whatever reason that you feel you can't move on. For some of you, you feel actually incomplete. That's an illusion. And I don't mean to minimise their loss in your life. But yeah, embrace the truth though. Really look at it. You know, how is holding on to this actually serving you? It doesn't mean you're going to love them any less. Two cards for illusion for Pisces, please. It just means that you see the truth and you are able to free yourself, right? These over here. Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I feel as though you Pisces, you, you know which direction you need to go in. You know um, what your intuition is telling you, right? Um, 
the other thing is, especially with the High Priestess coming up, is, you know, by actually clearing this, um, this here, putting down these burdens here, right, and letting go of this focus on what you don't have, um, rather than looking at what you do have or what is available to you, um, you you actually get to go towards this new beginning. You get to listen to your intuition or at least feel your intuition and let that lead you, okay? Um, because this sense of being alone and not having, um, or oh, no, sorry, that's incorrect. This sense of being alone brings to you a misconception that you can never have what you had before. But that, in fact, is incorrect. For some of you, this is a part of yourself which is missing. A part of yourself which you buried and you put away. I'm like, um, no, that's no. Not... That's no longer me anymore. That's not part of me. That shadow self, right? Something that happened that you refuse to look at. My beloved, my beloved, my beloved, my beloved, loving you. Allowing yourself to be loved, right? Be loved. Yeah. This is about you igniting that flame within you again to allow yourself to be loved by you. Because you can't be loved by anyone else unless you are being loved by you. Right? This here. I see him usually running towards the motorbike. I feel like he's also running away from something. Maybe himself. What are you running away from, Pisces? Letting go. Learn to let go. Yeah, learn to let go of these burdens here. These things that aren't serving you, that don't need to be carried around any longer. Because they're not protecting you at all. Let, letting go, two cards for letting go. Pisces, oh yeah, two cards there. Wow, wow. The King of Pentacles, excuse me, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. Incredible, that's absolutely incredible here. This is what you can grow. Uh, I actually just see, look, Opportunity Knocks, this is what is there. This is the opportunity available to you to step into this energy. This is for you to grow something with somebody on an equal level. It's there for you. But I'm just, I, I yeah. There's something in your way. There's something that you're holding on to, you're choosing to hold on to, that you're refusing to look at, saying, that didn't, that didn't really bother me too much. So I'll just bury that really, 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 really deep. And I wonder why I keep tripping up when I go to express or open up. I wonder why I can only open up so far and I can't open up fully. Why is this not natural for me? Yeah? Really considering, right? Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay. Tell you what, Pisces, right then, deep in my nose, I knew what felt right and I needed to sneeze. So, <laughs> yeah. Two cards for this card for Pisces, please. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. You know what it is that you're burying. You know what it is that's holding you back, eh? You know. Do what feels right. Pull it out. Because, oh great, we just got two cards. Excellent. Because, I say this, pull it out. Because these are like splinters, right? What do we do with splinters? What's the best thing to do with a splinter inside of you, right? Or a thorn. Let's say it's a thorn because that's a bit more descriptive as to what's going on here. 
do we tape up the thorn with a bandage to protect it so it doesn't get knocked if we did that right say we had a thorn in our finger and we taped it up so it didn't get knocked so we could protect it against the elements it's not quite protected it still gets knocked every now and then and it hurts and it throbs I'm like, oh my gosh now I need to get something stronger to put around it where's a piece of metal where's, an, where's some armor to put around it I'm going to wrap it around there so it doesn't get knocked but the thorn's been in there for so long it starts to get infected and it starts to permeate through the rest of our body and it gets into everything and then we can't use our finger properly every time we go to I don't know make dinner it's there every time we go to type something it's there every time we pick up our phone it's there it's oh I can't do that I have to do this it's there no what's the best way to deal with it pull it out pull it out so we can discard it yeah do what feels right okay friendship nurture your relationships yeah nurture those relationships that are going to help you with that you know maybe maybe the thorn is so deep in there you need two hands to pull it out go find a friend who can help you squeeze it out right go find someone you trust two two cards for friendship for pisces please you know because there are people around you who will help you do that who will be more than help you happy to help you do that right to support you while you go through that journey here we go yeah yeah see this is the thing right um i kind of feel like you've been sneaking around behind your own back in a sense I feel like I know this card is can be representative of deception and that's what I'm feeling about about it right now, right? For some of you, you may have been deceived in your life by someone else. But right now, Pisces, by not doing what it is that you need to do, you're deceiving yourself and you're depriving yourself from this opportunity of allowing this here, this passion to be ignited within to... Um, to actually utilize it to do what it is that you can do in your life to light the way to walk the path to walk the light path when you do that because i think i feel like some of you have tried and it's kind of like you run out of steam because there's always this thing here there's always this thing that you're hiding from that you're running from that is tripping you up okay so be honest with yourself okay come away from the illusion yeah anyway moving forward get ready for positive change awesome get ready for positive change doing this you know absolutely will bring in positive change for you here pisces moving forward two cards for moving forward please and and how do we move forward we become transparent we look at everything we look through ourselves to find is there anything else in here before i take a step forward that i need to be working on here so that you can move forward with ease okay so yeah okay um yeah yeah, 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 I see, I see, yeah, see, this is this, um, having people around you here, right, to help you, to help you do the healing that you need, taking that time so that when it comes time to move forward, you can do that quickly and swiftly, um, because I feel as though the thorns, when they come out of you, um, because they're right at the surface, it's going to be a bit easier than what you realised for them to come out, okay, um, it, sometimes in our mind it seems harder than what it really is and I feel like for some of you Pisces there is a lot of work potentially that you've done on yourself and now is that that last little bit okay um that needs to come out and it may be that 
what appears to be the heaviest and the hardest bit um, but it's also the final piece okay so yeah stand strong stand strong in your power remember who you are Pisces because you can absolutely do this you've got this and um, and this is 100% going to help you move forward in your life okay if you're at the beginning of this healing journey believe me it is worth it every step of the way you will learn so much about yourself and you won't be the same person as what you were when you were you began the journey you will be stronger you will be more empowered you will be more confident you will be more sure of yourself you will be your authentic self okay Pisces I'm gonna leave that with you please be really gentle with yourself okay and take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye